Not like Noah. Like Avraham Avinu fought it out. Ur Kazdim, 37 years plus, that he's fighting it out in Ur Kazdim. And therefore, since Reis Lokish, Reis Lokish knew what it meant, kashas, steers, contradictions, okay, looking for the truth. Reis Lokish was a sailing, searching type of a Jew. And that's how he came to become Reis Lokish. He didn't grow up like that. He grew up as a, as, as a ganav, as a thief, as a member of a gang. That's how he grew up. And he came to the truth on, on his own. So his opinion is Ben Sholosh Hika of Ramaz Bayrak. He counts on the Cheshman. He shows it begins when he's three years old. I, three, ten, fifteen, twenty, he still was on the iPhone. He's still doing bad stuff. He still had a girlfriend, Avram Avinu. That's what he's saying. But already, Hikr is Bayrak. Why? Because Echad Haya Avram. Hashem created him, to bring the world back to everybody in the world back to Hashem is Baruch. And therefore, he had to go through those things. Dafki had to go through those things. And that's why our generation has to go through these things as well, that there was never, ever, ever such craziness, yearness as our generation. And when Mashiach comes, our generation is going to be counted as Tzadik and Mitchilah Sevad Saifa. Mitchilah Sevad Saifa, that Hashem Zabar wants us to bring other Jews back to him. He wants us to understand the children that are, that are having difficulties in school. He wants us to love the children that are Paik and Bebris. He doesn't want us to throw the kids out of the house if they're coming home late with a girlfriend. He only created this generation that we should help these kids. That's why we're here. To bring every Jew back to the Rosh not to throw them out. And we're better than Avram Avinu. This generation was created to bring the world back to Hashem So we're the firm ones that are left in the world and we're throwing the kids out on the street. And this Machi coin had to, had to kill herself, and all the other ones that are killing themselves either quickly or slowly, because they can't be accepted, or they're not perfect enough. And no one's saying the truth, that Avram Avinu wasn't perfect. He, he, David Melch wasn't perfect. But, Echad Haya Avram, Mitchilosav Atzayfai, you know why? Because he was looking to become better from the time that he was a kid. And these chevra that are struggling, they're the ones that are looking hardest for the Baishlam. The ones that are looking hardest. The ones that don't fit into exactly the mold that they made in Hazar. Everything is perfect. The, the, the ones that didn't go to a co ed camp when she was 12 years old, she went to a co ed camp, and therefore she doesn't get into your school. She's parceled up for your school. The headmistress, what favors did you do? And I've asked people this that threw kids out. I want to see. You show me what you did when you were 17 years old. I once asked the Rosh Hashiva, you weren't part of bris? You look at me in the eyes and tell me what you were doing when you were 18 years old. And don't tell me that this kid is not good enough for your yeshiva. Don't tell me Andres. Talk to me in English. I talk English. Don't give me the Yiddish stuff. Talk to me straight. It's Mr. Andrish. You don't understand the truth. You know the truth, what you were doing when you were 18 years old. You're not Baba Sali yourself. Don't tell me you're Baba Sali. You have no ribbon to say you're not Baba Rebbe. You're a guy just like me, and all of us have had the same struggles. You're smart. You know how to say black and mark. I respect you. But you're throwing this kid out. He's no good. He's not perfect. Echad Hayavram. Zvei Shlokish. Rabbi Yochanan took him for his, for his sister, yeah? Who would take such a thing? You imagine nowadays. Zvei Shlokish. 